it's not 17 degrees. I am just a wimp for the cold. But there's a storm coming. Ducks. We love to be rude, but there's a storm coming. So I am going to let everyone out, even though they're probably not gonna stay outside for much longer because as soon as it starts raining, everyone gets in the house. So I'm gonna try to do that. I'm kind of late. I've been doing chores at 9 a.m., which is super, super late. But since I dried off the girls, I don't feel like I have to hurry up and get it done super early in the morning. They have food inside the house, and they have warm bedding, they have everything they need. So they can wait for me because, as I said, I'm a wimp. And right now, I uh, feel like it's super, super cold, even though it's 37 degrees, or 39, 39. And by the time I'm done with chores, I'm probably going to be completely stripped of most of my layers. So I ran out of my favorite minerals, so I'm going to have to do a um, short trip to town. But not before making sure that everyone has straw, hay, water, and everything that they need to hunker down. Because because apparently it's true, your animals absorb your energy and they turn into little wimpy for the cold kind of goats. I keep telling them, guys, you know, you could be living in Alaska or Minnesota or, you know, Wisconsin, Michigan. You're kind of spoiled, but they don't get it. Then I eat some straw for the boys. And I was able to find compressed straw. I am so, so, so happy. Grab some for the girls to refill their feeders. There should be enough. This is kind of a good, bigger flake. <laughs> it could barely fit in my hand. One of these. Good morning. How is everyone doing? Morning, Annabelle. Oh, such a terrible mood as always. Hello, Mocha. Hi, Eva. Hi, sweet girlie. Hi, Arya. You're too a shubuki girlie. Yeah, do you all have to be jealous? You don't have to be jealous. Come on. Come on. I forgot I left the gate open. Okay. There's more here, and more there. We'll be entertained for a while. I can never leave this door open or gate. Now this is for tonight. And tomorrow morning, but I just have to get it done right now. Otherwise they're waiting by the gate. I put it up here. I like to do that because if tonight my son needs to do chores for me, he'll just grab that, put it in the feeders, and that will give him enough time to come and grab hay and not have everyone follow him around. I don't know if you have goats, but they like to step on you and they like to kind of be right there where you're trying to step. So that's one of the tricks I do. I'm always ready for night chores. <laughs> and... and there was uh, somebody that asked me why two locks? Because they'll push this and break it eventually. <sighs> so 
but this is a little bit safer. The other thing that I like to do is put straw under where they're eating. As you can see, the little ones go under there and sometimes they even eat so from what's on the floor. So let me turn this lights on and show you. So always the first Oh my gosh, poor little guy. So the first straw that I put down is down there. So if the straw or the hay falls, I see. Ah, stop, Gaia, stop being mean. So if it starts falling, he's able to eat it without mixing it with the older hay that is underneath. And then I do the rest of the house. And I do thinner layers instead of doing thicker layers, which is what most people do. So anyways, I do add little by little straw instead of adding tons of straw. And it's because we, to make it easier to clean, we don't have something that will stop from coming out. And if I add too much of it, it will end up outside. So I try to only take out the wasted hay and straw but there's always clean straw on the ground that is coming out if I don't do this little by little so that's another tip if you do have like one step here where the straw can stay in then you can add more but if you're like me don't have that the key is to add a little by little and, and yes um, I was reading this in a goat Facebook um, group this lady was wondering oh my goats are eating the straw is that okay yes that's okay that's another thing it's not nutritious but it's not bad for them <clears throat> so it's just filling up their belly with empty uh, calories basically and it's not gonna help them uh, Annabelle is trying to um, dry off for girls that are still nursing I am not milking Annabelle anymore so that's another thing but uh, she's trying. Claire on the other hand she still lets Athene and Annabelle's little girl Aria the one with brown she lets the nurse so she's taking forever to be dried off so I have to check it she's almost there she's almost there as you can see she's almost empty so pretty happy with that I want them to have some rest and to be ready for their babies because next year things are gonna change and um, we're gonna try something different as far as milking not only the way that we milk but also the amount of girls that we're gonna have in milk and for how long so new chunks there you're not even pregnant yeah you Another thing or another tip that I can give you is if you're not going to put this in your garden or if you're not going to compost it, like I do most of the time when I clean the house, but otherwise I throw it for the ducks. The ducks love the kind of bugs and it's also helping me be mud free since I'm adding it. Now this is just what I'm doing right this second. But as soon as I mark my new garden for next year, which is something I want to share with you guys, I will start to add this little, I don't know, amount every single day to that. But as you can see, it kind of helps because, and I'm telling you, all of this is created, well, the top line is created with the mulch, the manure, and the duck stepping on it. So that's something that it works really well and I wanted to share it with you guys. Oh. 
also a lot of people wonder about this method like scooping it to the side and all I'm gonna say is goats are super smart and if they have food they are never gonna eat something that is not clean whether they know it's just waste we been using lots of straw like this was a hole and we've been using the wasted hay and straw to fill in holes so no I don't have a problem with that and I am just looking into my future milking area for next year so I'm excited you guys have an awesome day okay have loads of fun Gaia can you please behave your hormones are offending me right now Okay, be nice to all the children. Yes, you, Gaia. Yes, you. I'm kind of done with your bad attitude, hormonal, first-time mother attitude. Annabelle, can you stop eating the straw? It's not that great. Look. The little kids like to come and eat here. You cannot see her, but look at Arya. Like, she's deep undercover there. And like her when she does that, ugh, see? So I try to push it down so she doesn't put her head. <laughs> she's like, I don't care, Grams. I'm good here, Grammy. And the funniest thing is, you cannot see it, but that one in the middle now is Annabelle. And Annabelle is the one that lets every single kid, she is the queen of the herd. She's the one on top. She's the bossy one. She tells everyone what to do and everyone needs to dance to her own beats. So um, it's funny that she is the one that lets all the kids eat with her and she never fights with them. Ever. I don't know if you can see. Down here I have the little black boy. Over there is Arya, Ava, and uh, they just, she kind of even fights for them. She fights Briere and Gaia to make sure that they don't get what the little kids should be getting. So that's kind of sweet that even though she's in charge, she cares about the little kids enough not to fight with them. But look, oh, see? Here comes Gaia, who is a jerk. And look, Annabelle is like, stay away from the kids and she kind of corners them into that area right here, that corner I should say. And the second that Gaia, see, she's not comfortable because Annabelle will kick her out. Because the second she acts weird with the little kids and that little black boy, that's not Annabelle. And I'm telling you, she does this with every single kid no matter if they are her kids or not, which I thought was kind of sweet and I want to be cloud. The beautiful booty cloud. Hi, Briere. You you're ready to go home? Okay, we're gonna go to boys. Thank you for waiting though. You're a sweet girl. Thank you for waiting. Everyone asks me, aren't you? <coughs> because you know Hope is a hunting dog she does have quite a bit of pit bull her dad is a Catahoula hound but look thank you for your kids I love you too thank you for doing chores with me Thank you. Yeah, you can keep the camera. Say hi. 